What's up guys, hey Anthony here at InGear and I wanna give you guys my first impressions uh, on the Hyper Scorpion 2. Um, what did I say? I said Scorpion, get that Scorpion out of my mind. What's up guys, hey Anthony here at InGear and today we wanna to bring you our first impressions on the Hyper Scrambler 2. First off, the biggest difference of this bike uh, versus the first one is it's got two batteries uh, and a thousand watt motor in the back. Um, this is awesome because you get double the battery. Uh, it's also more expensive, but we'll cover that in a bit. So I wanna go over and talk about some of my favorite features and why I think uh, they really made some improvements. So one of the first things I wanna talk about is the controls that it comes with. Um, the display is very similar to the first one. Um, good display. Uh, it's not color, it's just kind of a, a normal display, but it's great. Uh, one of the things they did add was they added the side mirrors, and I think this is important and a great feature. One for safety, two for convenience. We do a lot of tandem riding, so I'm constantly asking my wife, hey, you know, check behind us, or like, I'm, you know, having to turn around in mid-ride. Uh, so this is nice to be able to just jump into a glance uh, real quick just to see what's happening behind you, because we tend to ride in big groups, so it's easier to just, um, you know, take a peek. Uh, so I like that feature. Some of the other safety features that I really like is this comes with blinkers, which I think, duh, like this should totally be on every e-bike, especially if you're riding on the street. It just helps alert other riders to what you're doing. It also helps alert uh, drivers, which is the most important if you're riding on the street. So it's got the left and right blinkers. It also has a horn uh, underneath the blinker uh, button and it's really loud. So. I mean, it's like aggressively loud. Now, some people hate like, oh, you can buy a cheap horn, blah, 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 and install it yourself. But it's like, I'd rather just have it come stock on my bike. Um, I like that I can get people out of the way, get people to notice me if we're on a bike path and they're kind of clogging up the flow of traffic. So I can just hit the horn, people will get out of our way and we don't have to scream at them and be like, hey, please. You know, when you're riding fast, that can be um, kind of annoying. So the horn is super helpful. I also like that the headlight uh, is a separate control. If I wanna turn the headlight on, it's just a flip of a switch versus some of the other ones um, that we've ridden. The headlight is by hitting the plus button on the display. So I prefer that it's a, just a separate you know, control unit. The bike right now already reminds me a lot of an electric motorcycle or a moped, um, just with the way that it's set up in the controls. And I like that, it makes it feel um, less janky. And so I feel solid just doing 30, 35 miles an hour when we're cruising down. Just having all these controls at my disposal really helps give me confidence. Uh, one of the other aesthetic things that I thought was interesting is they added a license plate uh, mount. And so I don't know if that's more for like gimmicks uh, where you can put like a customized fun license plate display um, or if it's because they're thinking that e-bikes are going to need to be registered soon, which uh, we've heard talks of, so that might become a reality, but um, it's made of plastic, but it's really on there and it doesn't make any noise when you're riding. So I liked that, that the fact that it was on here, but it's not super cheap plastic. It feels solid. Uh, again, the rear blinkers. And if you notice that the blinkers, they all have a flex to them. They're not, uh, they're not solid. And so there's a little bend. So if you're getting on and off your bike and you end up knocking it a little bit, it's not the end of the world. Uh, so I like that. I like the little bendy features. I like this little plate here um, purely because we want to design stuff on it. I love our logo printed right here because I don't know what the purpose of this plate is. <laughs> but behind this plate, there's actually a lot of room for storage. So a lot of guys put uh, a little mount back there stuff a bag you know you can you can just hide some extra stuff in there so i, I just appreciate the use of space um, the suspension is good the rear uh it, it feels good it's cushy this bike is incredibly smooth uh, like i said it feels like you're on an actual motorized moped it just gives that feel uh which gives you a lot of confidence when you're doing 30. so one of the other features that i think is just a good add-on touch is one uh it's the key start uh you can't actually operate the bike unless the keys are in it again i think that's a a good safety feature as far as security. Uh, and then it has the alarm that comes with it. Now, if you wanted to make an alarm um, on your, the bike that you own, totally easy to do, but I prefer just having it come stock with the bike. Uh, and the alarm itself is pretty cool. You can check out a video that we did separate on the Hyper uh, Scorpion Express uh, with the alarm there. It goes through all the features and stuff like that, but awesome little feature, great touch. All right, so for the gearing, uh, it's no longer... <laughs> it's a camera guy says it's a bad angle it gives me a double chin so so uh in order to swift swift <laughs> wow i need some food all right so in order to shift it has the twist shift 
uh, right here next to the USB, which I think is good. Uh, you have two batteries, so you can really power a good amount of your devices. If you're on a long ride and you want to mount one of your um, your phones or any other device while you're listening to music, that kind of stuff. Uh, it's nice to have a, a quick charge too. So when we do a lot of camping, that's really helpful because uh, we don't have access to just plug-in power. So having an additional battery to charge some stuff is a win. Uh, the other thing that I like about this is that it comes stock with the long saddle. Uh, as you've seen in a lot of our videos, uh, my wife and I, we ride tandem a lot and she uh, enjoys to ride with me. So this is the best option for seating. And a lot of the bikes come only with a single saddle. So I love that this is the option that it comes with because as of right now, other companies are having a hard time fulfilling orders of long seats uh, when they are in high demand. Right behind the long seat, we have this handle. And when we're putting this in and out of the truck, this is really helpful uh, if we're putting on a motorcycle rack. It's nice to just be able to lift it up versus trying to grab somewhere else. I'm glad that they just uh, made a handle right into the frame. So the last thing obviously is the motor. The motor is a great motor. I think because you have two batteries powering one motor, the batteries last a long time. Um, so that's a common question is like, how much range do I actually get? Well, you get a ton. Now you don't have to purchase the second battery, which makes the bike a lot cheaper and it comes with a plate that fits over where the battery would be. So it comes with that. Um, I would recommend getting the additional battery just because you can turn one on, turn one off. You can ride them both at the same time. You could be charging one while you're out still having fun. It just gives you a little bit more um, access to go do the things you want and have fun. Um, so the motor itself is a thousand watt Bafang motor and it's awesome and it really has some get up. So uh, I'd encourage you to try this out, have some fun with the bike. And if you want to see a comparison, we have that coming up with some other top brands. So see you in our next video. Hyper Scorpion.